What's going on guys? Today's video I feel like is really important for someone to hear. I know some people like this that, that feel this way and it's a horrible way to feel and I, I just feel like today's video is really going to help some people out. So someone might have left you feeling rejected or subconsciously you feel like you might be the reason that someone is gone or like you're the reason that someone left or abandoned you. And you feel like if you do anything to let anybody down that really means something to you that they might leave you or they might be disappointed in you or that they won't love you anymore. You need permission not to be perfect. You're not perfect. You're not going to be perfect. Stop trying to be perfect. You don't have to be everything for everyone. So don't put so much pressure on yourself because even the Bible says that not one person is perfect. In fact, the whole reason that Jesus had to be sent in the first place is because we're not perfect. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But despite how imperfect we are, despite how wretched and awful and black-hearted we are, God still loves you so much that the Bible says that he sings and rejoices over us. Zephaniah 3.17, the Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He'll quiet you by his love and he will exult over you with loud singing. God's not disappointed in you. And you shouldn't be so worried about disappointing the people around you. I don't know about you, but a God that exalts over us, that sings over us, that's so, so passionate about how much he loves us, that's, that's a God that does not hold grudges. And, you know, what we have to realize is that God sent his one and only son to die for us. We nailed his only son to the cross and he forgave us. He didn't abandon us. He stays with us and he wants to love us and he does love us with everything in his being. And if God can do that, even though we committed and continue to commit these awful sins that literally nail the Son of God to the cross, we're allowed to make mistakes. We're allowed to be less than perfect. So, if you feel like the weight of your schoolwork, the weight of your job, a sport, any of those things is weighing you down, you feel like if you don't succeed, if you don't accomplish, if you don't have the drive to be the number one in every single field that you, that you take a journey on, your worth and your identity is in Christ and what Jesus did for you on the cross, not anything that you accomplish in this world. When we're in heaven, we're not going to think about the things that we accomplished in this world other than the things that we accomplished for the kingdom of heaven, the people that we shared our testimonies with, the people that we led to Christ. We're, we're not going to think about those things anymore. And if God can forgive us for nailing his son to the cross, then other people will forgive you for not doing as well on one day of work or maybe not getting as good of a grade in a class. Those aren't the things that define you. Believe it or not, even what your parents think of you isn't what defines you. Only God's opinion of you defines you. So we need to stop putting our value and our self-worth in what other people think of us. Work hard like you're working for God, and just don't worry about the outcome. Don't be anxious, guys. There's nothing that anxiety is going to do for us. The Bible commands us not to be afraid all the time. Commands us, not just says it's good not to be afraid, but literally says do not be afraid over and over and over again. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God's burden is light and his yoke is easy, guys. So don't pile up all these responsibilities and all of these pressures from people that their opinions number one, likely aren't going to change because you might not have gotten 
an A in a class or because you maybe are taking longer to be able to move out of your house than you felt like you wanted to. There's no such thing as a schedule that you have to be on. You know, everybody would like to be super successful making six figures and, you know, living a comfortable life, but that's just not always the case. And God has a plan for your life and you're right on schedule for yourself. And that's all that really matters. So stop putting so much stock in what other people think of you. Stop trying to be perfect so much. God released us from that burden. God released us from that yoke. We're under his yoke and under his burden. And God loves you. He loves you so much that he rejoices over you. He loves you so much that he sings over you. He loves you so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross and save you from your sins. If you take nothing else out of this video, relax. You're fine. God loves you. I love you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys.